Hello ladies and gentle nerds, my name is Deloop and welcome back to my Factorio Mega Base series. Apparently my character is purple. Uh, today I have, well I've done quite a bit off camera. Um, I pushed biters back a good distance. Um, there's a base up here I haven't gotten and it's going to start giving us issues, but I have some defenses there. Uh, today we need to hook in some copper because I'm running a little low on copper, so we're going to get some trains up and running. Now I did automate rails already. Let me uh, place some of these lights down. Oh, yeah. yeah, I automated rails here. Uh, it's basically a simple factory that brings in iron. It makes iron sticks, double loads of spelt, and uh, steel, iron sticks, and stone get made into rails. I didn't put limits on these chests, which is alright. Actually, I kind of want to limit this one to... Uh, you don't really use a lot of these. Now, uh, we're going to need to make a mining outpost, so I'm going to need a couple of things. First of all, I just researched uh, advan the big electric poles, because I'm going to want those for my train tracks. Um, secondly, I'm going to want... Uh, I took the filter off this one. I'll let it fill up, I don't because I, I'm going to need a lot of belt. Um, unfortunately, this... You guys may have noticed I didn't uh, filter this. <laughs> it filled a chest full of miners. Uh, I'll use them eventually, but right now that was kind of a waste of resources. Um, but I'm going to bring in a belt here. Let me just bring it in. About there ought to do it. And then I, I'm going to split off of the circuits as well. To about there. And I'll, I'll start putting more factories up here that, that'll use this kind of stuff. So let me just extend these to about there. And uh, this is going to be my regular rail signal. It takes circuits and iron. That's all right. So uh, it takes one circuit, five iron plates, and then um, the chain signals take one and five as well. So they take the same amount of resources. Uh, let me grab some of these fast inserters. I'll just grab those. And then uh, I've got long ended. And I'm going to need some of these medium electric poles. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put two inserters grabbing iron and one grabbing circuits. Now I'm realizing I'll just do that. Well I guess it wouldn't matter if it merged in here but I yeah you know what yeah it doesn't really matter if it merges in here it's the same type of thing. Um, <coughs> technically this well it will eventually need to go up that far. So then I'll, I'll add a second inserter like that and I'll do the same thing with another uh, assembly machine which I'm out of. Let me grab like half a stack of these. I'll use them. And then, uh, so we'll just do, again, a fast inserter. Let me uh, make this symmetrical. Let me get some more of these inserters. I need some iron. So these, this will make chain signals. Now, I don't know why this isn't pull. Oh, that might help to actually rotate these the correct way. And then these are going to just be boxed up and ready to go. So let me get some boxes. I'll get some fast inserters. All right, didn't need to craft that. My inventory's a mess. These I'm going to limit to about that. No. These I'm going to limit to, say, that much. And the chain signals I'm going to limit to, like, three stacks. All right. So those will get crafting. Uh, I need to make some uh, some trains. And for that, I'm going to want to farl. Um, I need some iron. This is probably the best place to grab it right now. Everything else is kind of slowed down. I need to get steel processing. Let's see. Advanced material processing. That'll let me get steel furnaces, which should help with my iron. Okay, so we can get two of these engines, which is good. And uh, we're going to build a train. Now, this is eventually going to be my engineering train, and I've decided to put the depot here. So we just need to lay it out. So I'll just do that. And uh, one, two, three, four, and we need more track. I do have some on me. I'll need to grab more. So uh, this is going to be my depot, and down here is going to be uh, coal unload eventually. Um, I'm going to put the copper unload up here, and I'm going to put the iron unload down here. So the copper is just going to make a short trip, and then the iron is not an issue just yet. So that's one, two, three, four cars, five, and this is going to be our track layer slash um, track layer slash engineering train so it'll it'll do both lay the tracks and build outposts for us 
And eventually I might have two separate trains, but for now this will do. Let me go ahead and fill this up. Now this I can manually fill for now. Unfortunately the copper one, I'm going to have to get a lot of coal to uh, make sure it refills itself at least until I have bots. Okay, so this is gonna this wagon is going to solely be wood. Everything else is uh, I'll, I'll design later, but for now I'm going to throw everything I need in here. So uh, transport belt, some miners, uh, maybe some lights, some of those, big power poles, signals. I'm going to want some medium power poles. Go ahead and craft a bunch of those, craft more big ones. going to need more steel. So basically we'll load this up and start driving it around and making ourselves some track. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just come down here. I did build a little bit of a stone path there. I'll, it's going to be a constant project of mine is putting stone in everywhere. Hopefully that's enough track. It might be. So let's, uh, let's grab some stone. Bullets are still pumping out. Grab some of the steel. Okay, so I want more of these big power poles. It's going to need more copper. And I'm going to want more of these ones. Again, more copper. There we go. Some adva uh, advanced material processing is done. And we're going to want chain signals. So we'll grab these. We'll come up here and grab all the fast inserters we can carry. Some regular inserters, belt. Hopefully this is going to be enough to get a, at least our first outpost going. We're going to want a lot of splitters, some underground belts. We need copper. Oh, that's too much copper. Don't need that much. All right, so uh, let's get going. I think I uh, think that's everything we need. Now, Will sent me the new design for the train unloading. I'm sorry, not Will. Uh, Mad Zuri did. This is uh, Mad Zuri's design. So this uh, this is the new train unloading station that I've been using, and I can't remember how to build it off the top of my head. <coughs> There's two. It's a train loading and a train unloading, and it's it's optimized for 0.12. It's got an extra 4% productivity. Uh, that 4% matters, especially when you have bigger bases. I mean, it doesn't matter for me right now, but it uses the same amount of resources. So we'll throw those in, throw these in, and uh, I think that ought to do it. Um, I don't want lights in here actually because the wagon or the train will start placing them. I don't think that's going to be enough belt. So uh, we might have to make a trip back for belt. Now, how do I want to set this up? I want to kind of put the T junction in where I know that I'm gonna gonna run the train. So about here-ish. That's kind of far away. So let's just say right before that little oil spot. And we'll need a train, some train stops. Let me make a couple of those. One for now. Well, two for now. And I'm gonna put these in. This is going to be the engineering. Set the name. That's good, and then uh, I'll build the siding and everything later. So I think that is it. Let's uh, let's get rolling on this. Now, how far are signals again? Or the, hang on. Need some of these big electric poles real quick. How far do these place apart? Is the question. Like how many blocks are in between them? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, so that's 20, hang on, gotta get more belt, I wanna figure out how, how far I need to place this, cause I wanna optimize this a little bit better, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then this is 29, so 29, um, 30. So we'll say 15 between the chain signals ish. No. Eww. We'll say like I want them even. So how about we just do 29. Because if you go into the settings it says distance between signals. I want 29 blocks in between them. That way it does that. Collect wood bridge water, no maintenance, parallel track lag, I don't want that, don't want logic wires, place pole entities, minimal, po minimal pole placement, place parallel track. Do I want to place parallel track? No. Alright, so start your engines, actually stop your engines, because uh, I need to 
get get this set up. This is going to go here. And I need to extend the track a little bit. Where is it? And I shouldn't be crafting track. I need to just grab a stack of it. And uh, this is just so the signals get lined up properly. Let me just make one signal. That's all I need for now. And then uh, the signals go there. So that's our starting spot, which is good. Start your engines and let's roll. So it should place a signal exactly. Or why isn't it? Um, that's that's not right. Hold it. Stop. That's too far away for the signals. Distance between signals. Let's not do 29 let's do exactly half of that which would be 10 um, let's say 14 15 15 save Ugh. where is the uh, let me get another signal here place it in the right spot because I, I want to have my signals equal to each other it makes it easier so I'll just start that gets a signal and we should see it place the signals in the right spots now. Now look, see that's so weird. This is a one too far distance, but it kind of is moving forward. Hmm. Can you do point five? Save. If I can do point five, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm gonna. I might mess with it off camera, but I'm a little OCD when it comes to stuff like this. Because last time I built my rail track, it was just, I didn't think about it until I had half the thing built, and I didn't, couldn't fix it after that. So this should be the right number now. I should play signal pull, and signal pull, there we go. So it's 14.5 is the perfect amount. So we're going to come about here, and I'm going to build an intersection. Uh, luckily, I kind of got this down now. So that should be good. Um, it's, I mean, once you build something enough times, it's better. Easier to do it. Speaking of, let me go ahead and just grab the picture of it. Just so I can use it as a reference. Okay, let's build. Um, <coughs> this is the station, or the uh, T junction that I made in my other series that. I spent like two hours just trying to get it perfectly aligned. So if this is the in 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 track, we want the out track as well. That's going to be here. So we need to d base it off of this, um, and that's pretty simple. We just need to figure out where exactly we want our other line. We just want it here. It's going to be a lot better when I got blueprints, but for now I'm just going to build these manually. I need the, uh, I need the copper. And off camera I'll probably uh, build the rest of the track where I need it, because you guys don't need to see me build this all over the place. So uh, this goes here. Um, this one goes here. And then I can line it up like this. And like if I can get the right orientation on this. There. Uh, and then we connect those all in here. Same with this side. Bring this out a little bit. And we have two more sets of tracks to put in, which is these. And these can go back a little bit, about here-ish and then they just connect in and we do the same thing on this side there and hook in there so let me just bring this out bring this one out connect them up and then all I need is the signals which are the easy part yeah like I said got a lot better at building this intersection on uh, my stream I've built it so many times now all right, so signal it up and call it a day. 
So we get a chain signal here. We get one over here and one here. Oh, where do I want this? Right there. And then that's the only three chain signals we need. Everything else is just regular signals, which is awesome because it makes everything nicer. And this should be deadlock proof. There we go. Signal it up. Oh, I sneezed and couldn't mute the cam the mic fast enough. I came out of nowhere. All right. So I'll place that power pole there, and then we need... Let me grab a couple more of these guys. Let's clear that spot so I can just stick them here. We'll put one here, and then I want the... Did I get all the signals in? Yes, I did. So I want to bring this out to the maximum distance here. And this is so that the... Uh, you want the... You want the next signals to be one train length away and one train length for a 141 is a, a almost exactly the size of that so that's good so next we just need to move on and take the train and take it to the next spot we need an intersection which would be up here uh, because I'm gonna have it come down and actually um, I don't want to handle this I think about here ish would be the stop so I'll bring it about here. So we'll, we'll drive there. It's a little bit past the copper. Start. Out of rail signal. Stop. It's because I didn't put it back in the train. Ooh. You know what? I'm actually just running low on them, period. And I'm out of iron. Let's drive the train back real, real quick. So basically my plan is, is you, basic, you can tile this. So you bring it up here. You put it intersection you continue this line you put an intersection here and then you you make your copper station by putting I don't know a branch off and then uh, you can just put it anywhere and that's what our goal is so I need to run back to base grab some train signals now I'm probably if uh, not gonna finish the tracks this episode I might do them off camera at least some of them that way we can um start let's just bring that up that way we can start the the copper base actually I might do it on camera I don't know laying out tracks is uh, interesting the first time after that it gets kind of repetitive so we might as well come in here and grab some more track uh, I'll grab these these are kinda coming out slow just cuz this keeps stealing all the steel which is alright and we need more signals I'll probably just grab whatever belt I can get while I'm over here too. I don't need that many chain signals. To be honest, I need more rail signals than anything. Grab as much belt as we can carry and then I'll come back up. And I did grab miners, correct? Did I? I don't remember. Ooh. I'm not sure if I did. Where's that box of junk? Throw stuff in here. Throw the stone, copper, iron stick. There we go. And then uh, I want to grab some of these miners, just in case I didn't. I think I did. No. Oh, go back in there. There. That should be plenty. Should be way more than enough. Let's go back up. <coughs> so uh, right now, because I don't have bots and blueprints, the T intersections are kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm not really entirely sure I want to build all this thing on camera. I might actually just route the train over there and then build all the intersections. So, I'll show you guys what I mean. So, let's throw all our track in here, our miners, our signals. I can't reach that back car. Let me get back here and throw these in. I'll keep a stack of those. Throw in the belt. Why not? This will become more organized once we get bots. Alright. So, as you can see, the distances with the RSO are pretty big. It's a long ways away. And uh, it doesn't seem that big just because I don't have water on this map. Well, I do, but it's just very low quality quantity. Alright, let's go. Uh-oh. It's off by one. No! How far did I want to take this? Up to about here. And for now, what I'm going to do... Is turn the track 
a hole like that, right? And then I'll fix it up off camera, but I want to get this all the way down there. That way we can start building stuff. Working on the railroad all the live long day. Yeah, that these turns are going to need to be fixed big time. Out of electric pole. Okay. So, since I'm at a big electric pole, let me uh, place them where they were supposed to go. That would be down here. And uh, throw more in. So, it's about time to wrap up this episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Off camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some T-junctions where I wanted them. So, I'm going to put one in here. I'm going to put one in here that's going to be facing downwards. That way I can bring in the copper station. One's going to go here. And then uh, I'm going to bring this track down a little bit and put one down here. And then uh, after that, next episode, we'll finish off all the track and start on our copper unloading station. Uh, start with the copper unload because it's easier. And uh, that'll be fun. So uh, we'll see you then.